This fuzzy plant is known as Tradescantia silomontana. And you can see that this has a tendency to kind of grow and clamber, so it can get a little bit leggy. This is actually just a little bit further down from my southwest facing window. And um, I really love the fuzzy texture. You could get these when they're kind of like still little clump forming, and that's how oftentimes they'll sell them, or sometimes they'll sell them in a hanging basket because you could see that these will have a tendency to kind of trail. But um, the internodes are actually not uh, that far away from here. You could get ones with like intense top-down light lighting where they'll have a little bit more of a, a structured appearance, but I actually have cut this back multiple times. So I've kept it small in this pot, and, um, and then I just kind of cut it back. When it starts to get a little bit too leggy or a little bit too like bedraggled, then I just kind of like clip it, you know, clip it behind a node and it starts to actually grow back again. Um, so these are really resilient plants. And as a matter of fact, that's probably the best way to propagate this plant is just by taking a little bit of a cutting and um, having it root up in, in some kind of airy mixture or also e even water. Um, I've never actually done them in water, but you could actually just stick them right back into the, the soil and they'll, and they'll root up pretty nicely. But this has a very velvety touch to the plant, which is quite nice for those of you who want a little bit more tactile plant. Now, when I see kind of white hairs like this, it kind of tells me that the plant is probably trying to reflect light. Um, or maybe the downy appearance is trying to attract a little bit more water in or perhaps both. But this plant is actually native to Mexico and um, it has a little semi succulence to the leaf. So I'm assuming that it's coming from a little bit more of a drier place. You could see that I have a little bit more of a peaty mix. Um, this has just recently been, been watered. So there's a little dampness to the soil. And, um, and I always have to be careful that this doesn't totally crisp up and dry out because if you do have it in what I have it in, which is a little bit more of a down from a southwest facing window, sometimes that, that light could get really intense. And even though it kind of like puts out a lot of new growth and likes to grow towards the light, there is this chance that some of it will actually start to crisp up um, and some of the leaves will dry off. But it's no biggie because Tradescantia are very forgiving. And like I said, you could actually cut it back. You could cut off some of those um, dead or, or brown leaves and then you'll be able to get a happy little plant back. <laughs>